Well, I've felt different for a long, long time, for almost all my life. I was different than the other girls. I liked to wear boy clothing and football and stuff. And I have lived as a lesbian for a long time, but I still got the feeling something, something wasn't right. So I discovered I was transgender. Um, yeah, I'm called Elias Hirsch. Um, I come from Denmark and I'm 15 years old. Jeg tog en kipame. Det er den jødiske hat, som jeg bruger til, når jeg skal spise. Øhm, som betyder, at øhm, når, jeg, når jeg skal spise, det betyder, at man skal føle, at man har en over sig. Jeg er Susanne. Jeg er født. Jeg går med til Og jeg står der. Og med hele livet lang. I know some of you had a really long journey, uh, but it's wonderful that you all made it. So it's time to say hello and welcome to Berlin and Wannsee Forum. It's great that you are all here. talk about uh, our identities and we're going to talk about it in the form of stars and you are going to write uh, parts of your identity which are important to you. My name is Romario. I'm from Iraq and I live in Denmark and uh, my belief is Christianity and I'm very relig religious. Mm -hmm. I'm Medina. I'm Muslim and what I like to do is play volley uh, volleyball and to go shopping as many girls. Uh, I'm Tyrell. When I hang out with my black friends, it's different to hang out with my white friends. How, how so? Well, because when I'm hanging out with my white friends, it makes a difference that I'm black. <laughs> when I'm hanging out with my black friends, it doesn't matter. My name is Valentina. Um, I'm gay, but I didn't write it on my star at first because I know nobody would write hetero on his star. <laughs> I played football like two minutes from where I live, and um, one time when I had go go down to play football with my friends, we um, I heard from a longer distance that someone used the the word uh, "play the ball, you fucking Jew," um, well, which I think that is it's not directly a discrimination discrimination, but it's indirect, um, and I feel like it it hurt me. Um, First time I just heard like, you're a girl, you can't eat so big burger or you can't run so fast because you're a girl. And I always felt like I need to improve myself because it doesn't mean that if you're a girl, you're, a, you're not strong or you are worse than boys. <laughs> this morning the topic was, who are you? Identity. And then, of course, sometimes who are you is linked to experiences, good experiences, bad experiences. But what we now want to do is look more deeply what really is discrimination. So I'm going to ask a question. Roma children are sent to separate schools because they are academically behind. They have not had the same primary school, so they are sent to special secondary schools in Slovakia, for example. Is this discrimination or is this not discrimination? Discrimination, No. Discrimination, not. Yes. Yes. It's not about Roma or something, because if you cannot... Uh, you can't keep up. Keep up with the other guys, then you must be in a. Uh, what's that? Separate. Yes, in a separate school. It's not fair, so this is discrimination, I'm sure. Yeah. I don't agree with different schools, but I agree with a short program of rehabilitation, the education level, and then introducing them into the normal schools. But what if. Uh, a uh, Roma kid is 
is like totally on the same level or on on higher level than a non-Roma kid, then he he have he or she have to be in a school which is far beyond his level. There is no lift. There's no elevator at the train station. You need an elevator because you're in a wheelchair. Is this discrimination or is this not discrimination? I just think it's stupid, but I don't think it's discrimination. It's not like, oh my God, you're in a wheelchair, so you can't come here. If you don't give possibility to this person who have problems with health to come to the train, you discriminate him. They did not do that. Uh, uh, you are in wheelchair, you can't use our elevator, but there is no elevator, nobody can use. So it is not because uh, you are in a wheelchair, because we don't have money for elevators. Um, yeah, I think it's discrimination because um, people in a wheelchair should be able to go with the train. And if you build stairs, why not build an elevator? What's it like when you look and see that you don't agree? What does it feel like to not agree? Normal. Feels bad. Yeah? It's interesting. It's interesting. In my opinion, it's normal. I'm pretty sure everyone came here because they feel discrimination is an important topic. But it's also good to see the truth that it's complicated and that there's many different opinions. Gesichtszeigen, um sein Wort so long, the long name I told in the beginning. Um, it means show your face. Jews are not religion, but it's a cultural, traditional thing where we say, okay, mischt religion. This is one of our um, model projects we have. Um, it's called um, Who is Berlin or um, Homeland Berlin. I know people are like seriously grown up in a Orthodox family, are keeping everything, keeping Shabbat, keeping kosher. You have a lot of Torah learning. When you're a, a boy, you have uh, Torah lessons every morning. And we want to encourage young people to get involved in our society. You can always choose if you want to stand up and if you want to show your face and if you want to um, take something like civil courage. Damals war ich in der vierten Klasse, glaube ich. Da hat, da saß ich in der Klasse und da hatte ein Mädchen so einen interessanten Radiergummi und den habe ich halt so angefasst und habe mir den so angeguckt. Und dann nahm sie mir den aus der Hand und hat angefangen, mir so ein Gesicht umzureiben, so vor das Gesicht. Und dann meinte ich so, hey, was willst du machen? So, meine Hautfarbe kannst du nicht wegbekommen. So. Und dann meinte sie, doch. Und dann meinte ich so, nee. Und dann meinte ein Junge, der drüben saß, der meinte dann zu mir, Natürlich, denn schwarze Haut käme vom Teufel. So, welcome to our Heroes Headquarter. And today we are going to show you a workshop with role plays. And yeah, it's very important that you all Say your own opinion. There's a picture taken of Anna right after her birth. She was born on 12th of June 1929 in Frankfurt. You will not see that this is a Jewish family. How can you? Presentation. Yesterday we went to um, Anne Frank Centrum, and I think this is our message today. Just take a look of what happened and don't forget. And yeah, the organization Heroes goes to different classrooms um, where there are um, children 
other over 80% are migration background and do these role playing with the students. <laughs> Lambda helps people, help, helps gay people, helps gay people to be accepted and fight for the gays. We are going to be praying and gay marriage here is not illegal. A lot to be recognized as a couple, it's also not illegal. Society doesn't accept gays at all. <laughs> all you need is love! If you want to change something, you need to find out who you are and to change something in yourself at first. We should not think always about big things. You can, you can take small actions which, which lead to bigger actions and that's not that hard. So everybody can, can um, do them. I've never talked with the gay people or with the, the, something like that and yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult to understand, but you must accept it. If you are, have a lot of friends who support you, you can come very far. It was a very great experience here with so many different people from so many different countries and all people have a different story and everybody should be able to be who they are because that was kind of the point of this conference and yeah.